Dr. Cadaver's Hail Lore. Hi, this is Ethan Osterman. In this video, we're going to be discussing Dr. Cadaver's Hail. If you don't know who this is, it's the portrait in the Team Fortress 2 map, Monster Bash. First, let's discuss Dr. Cadaver's Hail's early life. When he was born in 1802, he was able to form full sentences in German. His mother was a member of the Hale family, just like famed Saxton Hale, CEO of Manco. His father was an unknown German man. As a child, he was very close with his mother, but his dad died in a horse racing accident shortly after him being born. When he was 12, he won the mansion slash laboratory in an auction, only bidding a piece of pocket lint and his mom's soul. The auctioneer declined the soul, but took the pocket lint, believing it to be that of famous playwright Shakespeare Eccles. This was due to Hale being incredibly good at smooth talking. When he was 17, he went to medical school in America. He graduated medical school in two years after joining, and then never went into the field. He used the last of his money to fly back to Germany. After college, he couldn't afford a home, and lived in the park and slept on a bench near a statue of Shakespeare Eccles. This is where he found a passion for history, which led him to become a necromancer. Now let's discuss his later life. Earlier, I mentioned one of his hobbies was necromancy. He is very fond of attempting things on beings that died before his respawning machine was invented. Unfortunately, most of the time, these attempts ended up just creating a mindless skeleton monster, except one time when he did it on a deceased pope, and the pope turned into a dove and flew down his throat and started eating his liver. He failed that obviously, and started getting drunk on De Groot rum. He gets his De Groot rum illegitimately by hiring thieves to swim across the ocean and steal it from the De Groot family, which is particularly easy due to most De Groots being fully blind. However, most of the thieves he hires choose the route of scooping some water out of the ocean and putting it in a bottle. Dr. Cadaver's Hale has never actually had any alcohol in his entire life. He became an outcast in the Hale family one night after being so drunk on seawater because he's never actually had alcohol. He started shouting preschool-level profanities about his own family after a failed necromancy attempt. Cadavers met Morasmus in a game of poker at a casino called The Inventory. You might have heard of it. Morasmus unfortunately beat him due to Dr. Hale being distracted, but... Hale later got him hooked on Eldritch artifacts powered by souls, which eventually led Mirasmus into a crippling debt with multiple world mafias. So, it looks like Dr. Hale won that one. After being exiled by his estranged family, he has never again stepped foot in Australia. All record of him has been stripped from the Hale family records, leading to Saxton Hale never learning about his great-great-great-uncle's cousin's cousin, or... It could just be due to Saxon Hale not caring about family history. Or that that's a stupidly long list of names and it's he's so distantly related that it doesn't matter. Anyway, Saxon Hale prefers to punch animals into extinction. Ultimately, Dr. Cadaver's Hale died due to being pushed off his balcony by his dog that he never knew he had. Now, for a rapid fire of events that I couldn't figure out how to fit in this video. He invented the respawning machine. He's the subject of Medic's favorite books. He was the alchemist who discovered how to turn scrap metal into Australia. The scar on his face came from an explosion when he tried rocket jumping downstairs. All of these are lies. This whole video is made up. There's no actual law on this character, and you can go home. Hope you enjoyed this video, and goodbye.